Doctor, last week when I woke up from sleep, I had a severe neck pain and this was radiating to my hand as well. The pain got relieved only when my hand was raised overhead. Because of this pain, I couldn't even do my routine daily activities and this was affecting my sleep as well. Hello everyone, welcome to Spine Focus. What we just heard is the typical presentation of a patient who is suffering from an acute disc prolapse in the neck. Today, let us discuss about what happens in a cervical disc prolapse or a disc prolapse that affects your neck. Our neck is made up of seven small bones which are called as cervical vertebra. Between each of these bones, there is a cushion-like material which is called as a disc. This disc acts as a shock absorber and helps in maintaining the mobility of the neck and maintaining the flexibility of your cervical spine. Each of this disc has got an outer thick layer which is called as an annulus fibrosus and it has got an inner jelly-like material called as nucleus pulposus. Whenever there is a break or a tear in the outer layer, the jelly-like material which is there in the inner layer comes out and it can press on your spinal nerves or the spinal cord and this condition is called as a cervical disc prolapse. Your symptoms of disc prolapse will depend upon where the disc is causing pressure. If the disc prolapse does not cause any pressure on the nerves, it can present with isolated pain in the neck, which means there is just pain at the back of your neck. If the disc prolapse causes a pressure on the nerves which are going down your arms, these are called the nerve roots, this can present as pain which is starting from the neck which is radiating down your hand along with numbness or tingling sensation within your hands. There could be associated weakness in the hand. Patients often complain of severe pain when they keep their hand in a dependent position and they usually prefer to keep their hands overhead because this relieves the stretch on the nerves. If the disc prolapse presses on your spinal cord, the symptoms could be more serious. It could cause weakness in your arms or legs. It could cause difficulty in walking, loss of balance while you're walking, clumsiness of your fingers, difficulty in buttoning shirts. Whenever you have such symptoms of neck pain with radiation to your arms or associated weakness, it is mandatory that you need to consult your nearby spine specialist or a spine surgeon. You would need imaging in the form of an X-ray and an MRI. So X-rays usually demonstrate a straightening of your cervical spine, which means that the normal curvature of your cervical spine is lost. This is because of spasm of your muscles. So on the X-rays, we can only see the bones. We do not see the soft tissues like the nerves or the discs. Hence the investigation of choice to confirm the diagnosis is an MRI scan. So the MRI scan helps to confirm the diagnosis. It helps to localize the level of disc prolapse and it also helps to visualize the nerve structures and to see if there is any compression on your spinal nerves or your spinal cord. MRI is essential in guiding your treatment. The good thing about an acute disc prolapse in your neck is that about 80 to 85 percent of these disc prolapses will spontaneously resolve which means that they get better on their own with conservative measures and they do not require any surgery we shall discuss about the medical management of cervical disc prolapse in the next episode please stay tuned